Studies have shown how art is beneficial for many reasons, and it goes beyond the finishing product. Now, this holds true for what paint and a brush can do for people living with Parkinson's disease. New tonight at 6, THB 11's Mercedes McKay shows us how UAMS is giving patients a free opportunity to explore this therapy. As chalk and paint cover the tables at St. Michael's Episcopal Church on a Tuesday morning, much more is happening than the contact between the pencil and paper. I think it touches a part of the brain that we don't access all the time. Behind the smiles on the faces, these people aren't just connecting with what they're drawing, but also connecting on shared experiences. I think it will help calm their nerves and be around other patients that um, have Parkinson's. Thanks to a donation to the UAMS Parkinson's Disease Fund, the hospital partnered with Arts Integration Services to provide free art therapy classes to Parkinson's patients. An idea that Suzanne Dahl thought of after she saw firsthand how it helped her father-in-law with this disease. He had significant tremor and he just fell in love with art and he took to it and he was able to do magnificent artwork. Magnificent artwork that is now displayed on the poster for this class. Just like it did with Dahl's father-in-law, research shows drawing or painting can help improve motor skills and control tremors. Especially with Parkinson's, if their body and the way their movements are, it changes, right? And so really showing them art that maybe will work with them. With no experience needed, painter Ellie Bates wants this class to be something that's approachable for anyone, using things like music and light to help them connect with not only what's on their paper and those around them, but themselves. Showing lots of different experiences, there might be something that they're able to like really connect with, and that kind of speaks to them as a person that maybe they didn't otherwise. While the masterpiece is far from over, Dahl hopes in the future they can bring two generations together through the power of art. I'd like to combine it with school-age children and this demographic so they can all learn from each other. Thanks so much, Mercedes. The next session is in El Dorado, followed by two more held at St. Michael's in Little Rock. For more information on how you can register and dates and times for upcoming classes, head over to THV11.com.